Hey you guys, so before today's video begins, I just want to apologize if I sound funny. Now the reasoning for that is because my old headset finally broke. I can't connect it to my controller anymore because the cord broke, so it's all bent. So I can't really use it anymore. So I got myself temporary earbuds for the PlayStation. So until I can get a better headset, I'm gonna sound like this for a while. So I apologize you guys if I sound funny. But yeah, I'm going to be using earbuds for a while. So anyway, real quick announcement before the review starts. If you get a notification like this on the, on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, do not click it. It's going to hard reset you. It's going to kick you out of the game completely. Do not click it. Do not touch it. Don't even look at it. What you want to do is completely close the game and shut down the console completely or restart your console. Because this is going to destroy your career stats in, in Modern Warfare. Do not do anything. Just turn off the game completely to fix that problem. This has been a problem before launch. And till this day, it's still just a problem. This will occur once you reach level 100 or once you reach max level. So, yeah. This is still a problem. So... Call of Duty, you gotta get your shit together. So, anyway, you guys, I I try to get all the footage I could for this review. I unfortunately I didn't get enough footage because I didn't want to spoil some parts because I know a lot of people haven't played the campaign yet or done special ops. So I try to gather all the footage together I could for this one review, and I waited long enough for this review, so I have to get it out sooner than later. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thank you all for listening to me ramble. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Painful, boring, oh so god dang painful and boring. Oh my god. Oh. I'm going to be 100% honest. I love Call of Duty. I really do. I've been a fan of it since the original Modern Warfare on the Xbox 360. And since the newest Modern Warfare came out, Call of Duty Modern Warfare got a big reboot. This is the game that was so hyped up for? This is the game! I'm going to be honest. It was so good at first. I am... I'm not even going to bother with the campaign or the special ops, but if I have enough time in this review, I'll probably find a way to sneak in a clip from special ops if I have one, but I don't want to spoil the campaign, but I'm going to be honest. If you haven't played the campaign at all, boy, you're missing out, because the campaign is goddamn amazing. All right, I'm not going to get into the campaign because I don't want to spoil it. I recommend you go play it and check it out. But, the multiplayer of this game is what I want to focus on for this game. Because, like everyone says in the Call of Duty the community, or some people say, a new year, a new Call of Duty, the new year, new Call of Duty, however you want to pronounce it, every year we get a new Call of Duty. Because, who am I kidding? Everyone's going to still buy it regardless. But anyway, this is the game that... The multiplayer people have been waiting for? This has turned out to be a huge disappointment for me, in my opinion. Because there are ooh, quite some bugs that this game still has. Alright. That, was, that, that wasn't going to end well. What? This guy... Oh my god. What the? My suppressor is like... My suppressor is not moving. Like, my gun is, but my suppressor is staying in place. Like, here you go. Yeah, dude, that is... That is the buggy suppressor. Oh my. Yeah. This is kind of a problem. And to this day, it's still kind of a problem. I'm gonna be honest. The very first thing I was talking about 
when I sh told you guys the um, at the intro of my video, do not click the button, because that only appears when you reach level 100 or higher, or max level. If you click the button, yeah, your stats will be completely refreshed, you'll start over, and it's going to ruin your entire game. So yeah, don't click that, and also, there's still a lot of bugs in this game. Before, before this game even came out, I played the beta, I have played the beta, and what do us beta players get? NOTHING! We don't get ANYTHING! For testing the beta. Of course, we get a pre-order bonus for a new character. But no, beta players, nothing! But of course, Black Ops 3 was more generous. We actually got a weapon camo for participating in the beta. In Black Ops 3. But boy, there's definitely some things I need to talk about. The spawn camping and multiplayer. Wow, okay, the spawn camping has been a problem and before or launch and still to this day oh, There it's still just a problem. It's not just that but the whole multiplayer in general I call this game campers duty noob warfare sweaty tryhard edition because the skill based matchmaking is broken because your skill based matchmaking is going to be determined on your accuracy that really sound fair to you? No. All the way I sh want skill-based matchmaking to be is for all games. All skill-based matchmaking should be depending on ranked play matches or player level. And at the end of every season, it should reset to the season limit. But youch! Accuracy for skill-based matchmaking? Does that that's not very fair. Okay? I see people run around with riot shields, rocket launchers, C4s. Like, why? Because wh I'll tell you why. Activision is protecting the noobs. Because they're not going to learn the hard way like we all did back then. No, they're going to protect them. Say, no, they need a safe space. Well, guess what? Make them learn the same way we did. Now, let's talk about the camping. Yikesers, there's a lot of camping problems. So, yeah, I had some of my friends get amazing spawn kills, and I've been spawn killed quite some time, so, um, yeah, I want you guys to see this for yourself. getting tired of Call of Duty. This is the only mode I play, nighttime mode. It's the only enjoyment I find. And I swear to God, if I get killed off the bat, I am not going to be happy. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. Screw this game. For God's sakes, even one of my friends that I play with got like a kill chain on one of the matches we played. I wish I was in his line of sight to see it, but I think my friend can explain how he did it. That exact same operator, and from the moment I spawned, I ran and killed him, literally slid into his spawn, killed him again as he spawned. He tried running up behind me, turned around, killed him, and then killed him across the map, and then he left. Poor guy. <laughs> I, just looked in, I just looked in the bottom corner and he was gone. <laughs> oh, that's uh, funny, Javon. It was weird. I, I mean, I didn't feel bad because I didn't think too much of it, but I was like, <laughs> that's rough. You think getting spawn killed is a rough time? <laughs> Whoa! Wait until I, you, you hear this, you guys. Worst of all! <laughs> This is what gets me every time I play this game. Worst of all! Depending on what map you play on, people on the 
whole team are going to either disconnect on purpose or they're just not going to bother. They're just not going to bother with what map. They're just going to rage quit because, oh, I don't like this map. I need 10 more kills until I have the gold camo for the MP7. Whoa! A enemy forfeits. I think they just disconnected by accident. Like they locked, their pl plug was pulled. Because I was uh... about to kill someone, but then they just all disconnected. So I think their plug was pulled. What, this gun? We win. Oh, that's a nice door. Returning to resupply. Enemy forfeits. We win by the ball. Oh, hey, there's no enemies yet. Like, look on the enemy team. Reloading. Free win. Reloading. I'll take the free XP. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Oh, God. Okay, Ooh, that's fair. Game. That's fair. Okay. Freaking hurricanes, aren't you? You are clear to engage all threats. They should be coming around this side right here. My mom's like, my mom's like, put on heavy socks for tomorrow. Oh, I'm enemies like, How about forfeit. Put on Yay, two we socks? win. Two pairs what of socks. What the hell? Oh my god, that's such a waste of time. And you know what? I agree with my friend. Pretty much half of the games and half of the maps you play on is going to be a huge waste of your time. If you got a lobby and you got Piccadilly or any other map or game mode that your enemy team doesn't like, good luck finding a match. Because boy, this was a problem d after launch. And this is slowly getting fixed, but God, I still run into this problem myself from time to time. Especially in the nighttime modes. My friend is right. There is This game is a big waste of time. Speaking of waste, you want to know what is a waste? The new system of the gunsmith that gives you blueprints with pre-made attachments for you. I mean, Call of Duty, what the hell are you thinking? I don't see the point of using a weapon that has blueprints if I can just already put my attachments on there that I unlock. Like, what's the point of you giving me a weapon with pre-made attachments that I've already unlocked that I can already put on my weapon? And the worst thing is, they're trying to sell you. They're trying to sell you some of these new weapon attachments and weapon skins in the franchise store for microtransactions. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, I want to explain why the franchise store and the weapon blueprints are so dumb, okay? Weapon blueprints is such a pointless system. And it's such a dumb system too. Especially with the franchise store because all the attachments that are on the blueprints, you can already put on your gun. Like there's no need to use a blueprint weapon if you could just put on the attachments yourself. Like here, I'm actually gonna show you, oh you, this gun, the shotgun, and the M13 coming up right now, they're both available as a bundle in the franchise store. So I'm gonna show you a quick process of me putting together a couple of weapons, and I am gonna replicate the exact same amount of attachments I saw from the weapon bundle in the franchise store or from the weapon blueprint well i mean they're the same thing so it doesn't really matter so anyway wait if you just put on the attachments you see in the weapon blueprint like if you don't select the weapon blueprint you just select the base gun itself 
You can just put on the attachments manually without using the weapon blueprint. I mean, even if you're not up to the weapon level code or player level code, whatever you want to call it, you can still put on those weapons, weapon attachments, without using the weapon blueprint. And this is the final results that I got from the weapon, from the shotgun and the M13. They're trying to rip us off and put these weapon attachments as bundles and they're trying to make the weapons look different with stickers and weapon charms. Call of Duty has stooped below to a new level of scamming people. You guys are so incompetent, you know that? I'm gonna be honest, this game if it wasn't for the horrible skill-based matchmaking and the aggressive microtransactions and the horrible spawning, this game would have been better. But I'm going to be honest, I did have some fun with this game. I really did have some fun with this game. I did get rid of this from my console once because I couldn't handle it. But I just brought myself back to the game because I still have friends who play this game. So pretty much I only play this game with my friends. That's like the only reason why. And I did have some good moments on my own in this game. I did make some pretty amazing shots with the M2 Carbine. Heck, the M2 Carbine is probably my favorite gun in Call of Duty his history. Next to the MP5. And I did have some good moments in this game. More. I'm reloading. Got one. Oh, Epa, Got remember me? On station. Ready for flyover. You're confirmed. Outstanding. I expect nothing less. Sorry about that last clip, you guys. I got a little excited, so I did a little celebra celebration dance. That's why my earbuds fell out and made noise. But anyway, skill-based matchmaking, I want to talk about. It's still broken, and it's dumb. Because I'm tired of going up against players that are constantly sweaty and try hard. And you know where I am, everywhere on the map. And they have godlike reflexes, like this bullshit here. Yeah, no way, screw this game, I'm done. So we finally reached the final score. Now, I would have given this game a pity point. I would have given this game a pity point if the game wasn't as bad. Now, I am a Call of Duty fan. I love Call of Duty. But where the game stands now, 
It's unacceptable. Broken skill-based matchmaking. Bugs are still over the place, but they're not as common. And now, they're showing us aggressive microtransactions. No thank you. But I did have some fun with the, on this game with my friends. And I did have some fun on this game by myself when I tried to give it a chance. I really did have some fun in this game. But where we finally reach right now, this game in its current state, it's unacceptable. And this is probably the biggest dis one of the biggest disappointments I have ever seen. Next to Call of Duty Scam Ops 4 with their bl battle royals genre and their supply drop bullshit. So, the final score for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reboot is a 1! A 1 out of 10! And it deserves my title of disappointment! Now, maybe it could have pulled a 2 out of 10, but it goes with a 1 out of 10. To release in a poor state where skill-based matchmaking is everywhere. To show us aggressive microtransactions one update later. To release a multiplayer game with broken spawn systems where you get spawn killed every second to go up against sweaty tryhard players to that think you're playing with an actual game tournament for money on the line this shit is unacceptable i i can't put up with this anymore no i'm done with this game i'm done i'm only playing this game with my friends if you can find enjoyment in competitive games then this game is for you I try to play competitive games from time to time, but I just can't pull myself together anymore to play this game. And I know Treyarch added supply drops, and they said they wouldn't in Black Ops 4, but like I said a couple times ago, I'm waiting for that to happen in Modern Warfare. <sighs> okay, I'm done with this review, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, you guys.